I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer. I wonder what it's going to take to keep us going these days. Uh, we've been looking this week at the young minister, Timothy, and Paul, his mentor. And uh, Timothy's representing uh, Paul in this very troubled church of Ephesus at this point. And that's why we have 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy in the New Testament. And uh, Paul's going to give Timothy the key to, uh, to really being able to hang in there, even though he was facing incredible obstacles. And in fact, by the time he writes the second letter, 2 Timothy, it's because things still weren't going really well. And he needs to really coach Timothy a little bit more. And he's going to give him an amazing key for hanging in there. But first of all, uh, between 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, three times Paul mentions uh, moments that were probably his ordination into ministry where hands were laid on him. In other words, spiritual elders prayed over Timothy and spiritual power and anointing was imparted to him. And that's where he's going to go when he's talking about stamina. And we all can have that same power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so three times. First of all, in 1 Timothy chapter 1, his first letter to Timothy. Verse 18, Timothy, my son, I'm giving you this command in keeping with the prophecies once made about you so that by recalling them you may fight the battle well. So he has hands laid on him in his ordination and there was prophetic word given. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Timothy. Uh, I've got a destiny a calling on Timothy's life. And so he's believing that that, that Timothy's going to hang in there in the job. Sometimes that destiny, sometimes that even prophetic sense that's over our lives, or even prophetic words that have come over our lives, help us, keep us in the game. So Paul just wants to make sure Timothy doesn't forget those critical moments in his life. And then still in 1 Timothy, but this time chapter 4, verse 14, do not neglect your gift, which was given, uh, given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. And being able to hang in there for the long term often involves not focusing on your weaknesses, but focusing on what you're good at. And, and, and Timothy had been supernaturally gifted by God uh, to fill these ministry roles as Paul's uh, representative. And, and, and this is great. I mean, he said, through prophecy and the laying on of hands by the body of elders, spiritual strength and giftedness has been imparted to you. But he's really going to unpack the nature of that spiritual impartation in 2 Timothy, his second letter. Verse 6, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame that gift of God. Just, you know, just like, like a poker in, a, in the fire, in a fireplace, in the ashes. Just poke away, get oxygen in there and fan, fan that thing back up into flame. He said, do this with the gift of God. Sometimes we just have to say, God, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, I'm going to reignite. I'm just going to allow you to poke away in my heart and trust your Holy Spirit to bring alive those things that used to be burningly real in my life. And, and, and he said, that came, uh, that gift of God is in you through the laying on of my hands. So the third time he refers to that moment of ordination into ministry. 4, verse 7, The Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Now there's a lot to intimidate us in life. And the word intimidate in English has the word timid really in the, in the middle. There's a lot that makes us timid. And uh, Timothy was facing some pretty major challenges in the book of Ephesus, there were a lot of intimidating personalities in this church. And, and he, just, he, he just needed to be reminded when the, the Holy Spirit's imparted to you and to me, to all of us. It, it, it's not a spirit that makes us timid. It's not a spirit of timidity, but rather a spirit of three things. Power, that's God's great energizer. Love, that's God's great motivator. The love of Christ compels us and motivates us. And self-discipline. That's God's great stabilizer. And I want to tell you, if you, have, if you have power, if you have energy and motivation and stability in your life, you can hang in there for whatever God has called you. You can survive that job, even though it may be a hard time. If God's called you there, you can survive that, that volunteer ministry that, that may seem just challenging to you right now. And you're getting a little criticism. But you know what? He's given you power to energize you. He's given you love to motivate you. He's given you self-discipline to stabilize you so you're just not being overly reactive. This stuff 
keeps us in there. The power of the Holy Spirit is the source of it all. And may he fill us today. Father, thank you for this. Lord, we pray for the energizing work of the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray for the motivating work of the love of God that your Holy Spirit sheds abroad in our hearts. And we pray for the stabilizing strength of the Holy Spirit who brings self-control and self-discipline back to our lives. My God, keep us in there. Whatever you've called us to, help us to hang in there. Help us not to overreact. Help us not just to give up prematurely. But we pray for power and love and and self-discipline because of the power of your Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>